Cells at Work Second Season Episode 2. Wow. The way they explained how Bayer's Bats works. Very, uh, what's it called this? Uh, they took a streetwise approach. They took a streetwise approach to explaining Bayer, how Bayer's Bats works. Right. Yeah, again, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a physiology lesson for me again. Physiology 101. And well, they were able to trap these three, uh, these three bacteria there. So, gather not the immune cells, don't boom. Tinubani na, wala. No chance that they could live. No chance. No chance that they could get out alive there. All right. Then, well, this is the first time that they're going to that they uh, that they tackled two cases. All right, and. I believe this is going to be the trend now for for this anime, which which is good for fans like me, right? The quicker I get my uh, my anatomy and physiology lesson, the better. <laughs> so, oh, I mean, so overall, it is a really good episode, right? It's a really good episode. Nakainitan pa kasi nakainitan ng aldi sila ano dito? Si Killer T, tsaka si 11.46. Nagkainita na naman eh. But, they, uh, they, sorted, they sorted it out. For, well, they, got a, they got a common enemy to deal with. So, sinatabi muna ninyo. Sinatabi muna. They got, they got an enemy to deal with. And, wow. It's always fun to watch. <laughs> Dio, yung angasan nila Killer T. Yung angasan between Killer T and 11.46. <laughs> It's always a joy to watch. It's always a joy to watch. So, Cells at Work, second season, episode two. Two thumbs up. Right, two thumbs up. I am so excited as to how Cells at Work is progressing. Bye, I'm so excited as to how this anime is progressing. You will not handle it. They will now handle two cases per episode. Which is exciting. It's very exciting. And, um, I'll be looking forward to the next episode. Alright? So, as usual, Cells of Work gives us a, um, gives us a lesson on how the immune system, how the immune system takes out these, uh, takes out bad bacteria in the intestines. So, again, Cells at Work, second season, episode two. Two thumbs up. Right. Two thumbs up. Next episode has been teasered. Again, there are more cases. Hindi ko na sasabihin kung ano yung mga yun. Panoorin na rin natin. Cells at Work, Code Black, Episodes 2, 3, and 4. Episode 2 got them off to a modest start, but come 3 and 4. Wow! The action has picked up, especially Episode 4. Ano ne? They were dealing with a disease called Gonorrhea. <laughs> the Gonococci are creepy looking. Talagang mapapaisip ka. <laughs> Mapapaisip ka eh. Mapapaisip ka talaga. And they're perbs. Okay? They are perverse. Yung mga gonococci. Eh, puro babae pa naman ng mga white blood cell. So, wow. Yung pantasa nila na-fulfill. Diyos ko. That is creepy. <laughs> that is fucking creepy. Now, overall, these three episodes, yup, they are all freaking good. They're all freaking good. And well, you know, you know me, mga kalifestyle. You know me, Twitch. I got another refresher course in physiology and even pathology. Physiology 101 and pathology 101 all over again. <laughs> wow. You pace the flow, even the plot. Malinis. Malinis lahat. Alright? No wonder, uh, no wonder the studio 
decided to release all three episodes at the same time. E mo ko magkakakabit eh. They're all connected. Uh, especially three and four. Kasi three dealt with an ir- dealt with how an erection how how an erection is created, okay? So they dealt with erectile dysfunction actually. Erectile dysfunction, all right? If you're a guy like me, you would you will uh, you will heavily relate to episode 3 and 4. Grabe. Episode 3 is about erectile dysfunction, episode 4 is about gonorrhea. Okay? Wonderful. So, Cells at Work, Cold Black, Episodes 2, 3, and 4. Two thumbs up. And a big toe. <laughs> Two thumbs up and a big toe. Well, uh, there's another reason why. Because, well, um, the red blood cells and the white blood cells are, uh, well, they are working inside a, a stressed out body. So, it's, it's, it's rubbing off on all of them. Even the platelets. Okay, pero, nawala, hindi masyadong, hindi cuteness overload yung mga platelets dito. Eh. Talaga halatang, halatang stressed out din sila eh. Halatang stressed out din sila eh. Alright, the platelets here. So, talagang, everybody is on edge. Everybody is under, under, uh, under each other's skin. Kasi, yung isang red blood cell, uh, sinisisi pa yung mga white blood cell. You're not doing your job. You're not doing your job. And, you know, eventually, that red blood cell apologized. Okay? Yun yung best friend ni... Yung bidong, white, bidong red blood cell dito. It's a really... It's a really good three episodes. Alright? <clears throat> Bihira ako makakita ng anime na we're in uh, the second, third, and fourth episodes puro mga ganda. Minsan, ano eh, minsan may, may sublay pa... Minsan may sublay dyan eh. May sasablay dyan na episode. Coming off the pilot... May sasablay dyan usually. Pero, nope. Not Code Black. From, yeah, from the pilot up to episode 4. These are freaking good episodes. At yung episode 4, napaka-creepy. Grabe. It's like a, like I'm watching a hentai. There, 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 I got that hentai, uh, I got the hentai feels when they were, when the Golokokai were, uh, ugh. They were, they were, they were really pervy. Ugh. My God! So again, Cells at Work, Code Black, Episodes 2, 3, and 4. Two thumbs up. Okay. <clears throat> A two thumbs up is more than, uh, no, it's not even enough to, to rate these three episodes. Off the roof. It's off the roof. Now, uh, it's easy to rin. Well, we're going to see we're going to see this body's killer T-cells now. So, abangan natin yan. Abangan natin sa episode 5. Alright, guys. Dr. Stone's Stone Wars. Episode 1. <clears throat> well, oh, they're, they're sincerely preparing now for uh, for the impending war against the Chukasa Empire. Okay. The Kingdom of Might versus the King versus Senku's Kingdom of Science. Wow. And uh, they were able to make space ramen. Freeze-dried food. <clears throat> Imagine. Freeze-dried food in the Stone Age. Yeah. Alright. Overall, okay, overall, it's a decent pilot. Okay, it's a decent pilot. Well, you gotta understand because uh, they are preparing for war, so no, no action yet. But uh, the the, uh, the animators could have uh, could have introduced more super science items, right? not just the. Uh, not just the instant ramen, not just the cell phone, not just the, uh, the phonograph. But, but bottom line, yeah, it's a very, uh, it's a very educational episode. Why? Because 
you get to see the inner workings of a particular gadget. Especially the cell phone. <laughs> Especially the cell phone. So, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 1. What the fuck? Well, like I said uh, a while ago, um, it doesn't warrant a two thumbs up right now. Alright? Um, a lot of patronizing went on, a lot of uh, brainstorming, alright? Because they are preparing for war. You gotta understand that. But they, the, the producers would have, the studio could have done more. Like, uh, no, I'm not saying to over deliver, but uh, introduce more super science items. Quickies, you know, quick ones. That are quick to make. There are a lot of them, actually. There are a lot of them. But don't get me wrong, mga Kalais Dai. Don't get me wrong, Twitch. It is a good. Uh, it, it's a decent pilot, right? Uh, it's not a time waster. It's not a time waster because uh, it has educational value. Okay? You, you gotta hold on to that. You gotta hold on to the educational value of something. I'm holding on to this one. Okay? So again, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 1. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um, I don't know if you can call that a teaser. They only just teasered the title of the next episode. But anyway, we're gonna We're gonna We're gonna wait for that. And well personally I'm I'm looking forward to the next episode. Hikurashi 2020 episode 15. That episode was more trauma, was probably as traumatizing as episode 4. Rika gets killed five times. So, what is happening in the promise of five loops? And, uh, ano? Wala na. She squanders them on. And, well, we're just expecting her suicide right now. Alright? Wow, did you see the, the way she was killed? Alright? Excuse me. Did you, did you see all the five times she was killed this episode? Grabe! Whew. Even an adult doesn't deserve that! Oof. Okay. Five loops, one death more gruesome than the last one. But the common, de common denominator nila, pinalo siya sa ulo. Okay. The last, oh, the last one, pinalo siya sa ulo ni Kate. Pinalo siya ni Kichi sa ulo. <sniffs> Grabe. I hope I don't get trauma. I hope I don't get traumatized by that. Imagine getting killed five times. All right, getting killed five times. What more can I say? What more can I say, mga lifestyle Twitch? What more can I say? Overall, wow. It is a very disturbing episode. I don't know. I don't know what Rika is thinking here. She gave herself five chances and she squandered them on. So what's next for her? She has to kill herself. Okay. The, okay. Pace, plot, the flow. All right. If you're, uh, if you're uh, a fan of the of the horror genre. You're used to this kind of uh, you're used to this kind of gore, all right? Excuse me. And I thought this is going to be smooth sailing for Mika. Uh, uh, now is the is the girl with a plan, so she has to set it right in five tries, or no, she's not committed to killing herself. But see, she deliberately squandered them all. Okay, sinajat sinajaya talagang Gamitin lahat ng lima na yun. Magpapatay na lang siya. Right? Overall, well, again, overall, it is a very disturbing episode. But not, but, it's probably more, probably, 
by the slightest bit more disturbing than episode 4 right all, all those all those uh all all the people all the people who killed her during those fight tries they were just doing like this doing like this doing like this, doing like this. until they bleed they scratch until they bleed i don't know what's i don't know what's with that all right i don't know what's with that but I pray that we find out in the next few episodes. So, Higurashi 2020, episode 15. Two thumbs up, right? Vintage Higurashi, two thumbs up. Wow. I am totally speechless right now. I got nothing else to say. Alright? This is a totally disturbing episode. And I strongly recommend that you do not, do not watch this until you started this anime. Okay? And, and if you're, and if you're entirely new to, to the horror genre, uh -uh, it is best to watch this anime from the beginning. Right? Or you will get the point. You will get the, you will get, you will get the whole story. Hmm. disturbing ang episode yun. So again, Higurashi 2020, episode 15. Two thumbs up. Now, in typical Higurashi fashion, only the title of the episode gets teaser. No scenes from it. So, we'll just have to watch it. Promise Neverland second season episode two. Well, finally, Emma learns to hunt. At itong dalawang demon na to talaga kakampi nila. They uh, those these two demons chose to side with them because these two are her considered heretics in their own in their own kind. Okay? May religion sila. Imagine demons having a god. Wow, alright. So they chose not to eat humans. They eat anything else except humans. So in order for the kids to survive, while they're out there, may mga tinuro na silang essentials. Okay? Essential chores. And yun nga, si Emma, nagpaturo kay Soljo, matangkab na demon, yung malaking pangaw. Si Bad Bible. Nagpaturo siya kay Sonju on how to hunt. Uh, Pinaintindi sa kanya ni Sonju na if you don't fight, you cannot protect, you cannot protect anyone. He sort of drilled that into Emma's head. Nagpaturo you know, siyang pumatay ng ano rin. Uh, sa quail or a bird. May, may pagkain sila. Overall, it's a uh, really good episode. It's a really good episode. Uh, excuse me. The pace, the flow, and the plot. Yep. Okay. Kineri over kasi yung plot nito eh. From, from the pilot. So, yeah. Overall, it's a, overall it's, a, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. And the backstory, the backstory Son told didn't take up didn't take up even half the episode, which I like. Okay. Talagang dala na ako sa ginawa ng Attack on Titan. Alright. So, The Promised Neverland second season episode 2. Ang tama. Why? Kasi, well, yeah, they, um, it was a true learning experience for the kids to, to learn essential chores. Kasi, syempre, they, Kailangan nila sumabak ulit sa... sa kunto sa labas. They took the... Nakakaya naman kila Sonjut na Muchika. Doon sila, doon sila tigra. Okay? So they have to learn that. Okay, but... They could have done more. The animators could have done more. Kasi, well... 
I wasn't satisfied kasi with the final scene. Right? I wasn't satisfied with the final scene. So that's why I gave it a... Uh, gave it a lower rating. Naka na two thumbs up eh. Pero... I wasn't really satisfied with the final scene. So again, The Promised Neverland's second season, episode 2. One thumb up. Okay? A hesitant one thumb up. It was such a great anime, you guys give me a one thumb up. But I gotta be really objective again. Okay? So, next episode, shall we? We didn't want to get teaser on the anime. So, we'll just have to watch the next episode. Jujutsu Kaisen episode 14. Ito to is back! And. <laughs> wow. The reception he got. Um, well, for his. Uh, for everybody who. Well, for everybody who knew him. Who knows him. Parang. Huh? <laughs> Deep inside. Deep inside, I was actually, I was actually laughing. Pero, uh, you fast-paced yung, medyo fast-paced yung episode na to eh. So, medyo, uh, eh, hindi pa nag-sync in sa akin. Until, uh, until the ED went, until the ED. Okay, until the ED, at least. But, okay, the principal of, uh, of Tokyo Branch, whoa. <clears throat> this old, uh, this old hag wants Itadori dead, mainly because of the fact that he is Sukuna's vessel. Okay? Alam natin lahat. Sa kanya nakatira ang spirito ni Sukuna. Okay? So, he wants him dead at kinunchaba niya ang Kyoto, yung mga represent, yung Kyoto delegation. Sina, sina Todo, sina, yung kapatid Dimaing, Nakamban ni Maki. Yun. Alright. So, all of them agree. They should kill Itadori first and win, uh, win, win the group battle in the process. So, two prong task yung gagawin nila. <clears throat> But, oh my God. Okay. The reception, um, uh, The reception the uh, the Tokyo guys gave him was uh, a bit amusing. It was a bit amusing. I said they don't know how to respond. It. <clears throat> they haven't seen because for two months he was presumed dead already. Yung na pagkakalam talaga nila na pati na si Tadori. But he has been training. He has been training under Gojo and Nanamin secretly. Okay. So he's seen firsthand kung ano ang kung ano ang impending danger sa kanilang lahat ngayon. Okay? Suko na is the least of their problems right now. Okay, so, and Itadori knows it. So, in the meantime, okay, um, lumantad na siya, and, well, it's time for the, it's time for the inter-school battle. Kailangan niyo sumali. Kasi first year siya. Overall, it's a good episode. It's a good way to, uh, It's a good way to come back after a two-week break. It's a good way to come back after a two-week break. And wow, heard the OP. Chai ED, yung ED medyo maganda rin. I gotta hand it to them. Maganda rin yung medyo maganda rin yung ED. But the OP, I am so familiar with the artist of the new OP, Huya Extended. They did the music to Psycho Pass Season 3. Napalago buong season na yun. Even First Inspector. Even uh, the three-part OVE finale, napalago ko rin yun. Kuya Extended also did, the, also did the OP there. Okay. And nung unang putok ng unang putok ng vocal, sabi ko, Teka, parang pamilya. Teka, Kuya Extended dyan ah! Lumabas yung credit, ayun, Kuya Extended. So, wow! I never thought they would do they would do the new OP of Jujutsu Kaisen. 
I never thought. Okay? Hindi ko hindi ko akalain. So yeah. Aside from the old, the new OP and ED, it's a it's a good episode. Okay? It's a good way to uh, it's a good way to come back from a two week break, so as not to so as not to overwhelm the audience with uh, with uh, over the top action or uh, or sorcery or whatever or whatever chupa chenes. Kumbaga, preparation for the real slam bang action. So, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 14. Mata map. Mata map lang. Jujutsu Kaisen has um, really made me think twice about how to review animes. For something for an anime with action as as um, as as bog as bog as this you gotta you gotta set the bill you gotta set the bar a little higher a little higher than you than you first set it you gotta set that bar a little bit higher kaya one top up lang yung ginamit ko one top up lang yung binigay ko sa episode na to because well let's face it okay Mga Twitch, Jujutsu Kaisen is the most overrated anime right now. Although, yeah, eh, ito pinakasikat na anime ngayon. So, we gotta set our standards high, a little bit higher, just for it. Right? We don't want to be, we do not want to be generic when it comes to animes like like JJK. Yung sobrang hype, pero justified naman, okay? I can't... I don't... I don't believe in hype. You know me. You know me, YouTube. You know me, Twitch. I don't believe in hype, but... Um, the storyline of Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah? It's really good. Justified na hype. So, in order to... Uh, in order to impart our message to, to to the already hyped up fans of this anime, we need to set that bar a little bit higher. <clears throat> if this is the first time I'll be reviewing Jujutsu Kaisen, I might have given it the highest rating. But nope, I have been reviewing this anime for 14 episodes now. So I've, I've been a little... So I've developed that discreetness when it comes to this, when it comes to this particular anime. So yeah, but hey, they're just preparing for war. So amongst themselves, muna. And of course, uh, Itadori is taking a break from all the from all the violence he has seen so far. Okay, <clears throat> he loses a friend, and he, wow. He almost takes out another Jujutsu Sorcerer on his first try. Okay. On his first mission back from back from the dead. What more can you ask from the lead protag? Right? So just give it out to give it out to this episode. He needs a break. He needs to be. He needs to be a kid again. He needs to be a student again. Right? So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 14. One thumb up. Okay. But hey, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong, guys. The next episode has been teasered. Alright. The slam bang action Jujutsu Kaisen is known for will be back in that episode. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 32. Oh my god. Yuga suffers the third loss in his own show. He suffers his third loss in his own show, but for the second, uh, but for the second time, he gets screwed over by by a maximum summon. Okay. A summon that he has neutralized before, but in 
in this current scenario. Uh, Neil has done, I think Neil has done everything to to completely delete the the maximum summon protocol in the this, in in the Rush Duel format. Right? Neil has done that. So, alam ng lahat na hindi na, pwede, hindi na pwede maximum summon sa Rush Duel. But lo and behold, Asana, uh, his so-called friend, who also happens to be the president of the Machine Cavalry Duel Club, beats him with one. And now, they are forced to transfer schools. Doon mismo sa school ni Asana. Sixth elementary. Right? Dinayaan si Yuga rito. Right? It's obvious. Yuga got screwed. Right? And it wasn't Neil. And it wasn't Neil. So overall, yeah, it's a really good episode. And there are fan service moments, all right? It is also, remember this one, Twitch. It is also the first time that we just we saw the worm type in a Yu-Gi-Oh! in a Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Alright? Kailan man walang character ng kahit anong Yu-Gi-Oh! series ang gumamit sa ang gumamit sa kahit anong uh, worm arch type. Whether it be the first one that was Yang Xing, then it was True Draco, then it was True King, right? I actually used those three arch types before in a, in uh, in a tournament, in tournaments, in separate tournaments. And it was fun to use. <laughs> it was fun to use all of them. But none of them, none, uh, no worm was uh, was ever used by a, uh, by a character in any Yu-Gi-Oh series. Okay, let me give you a little history on 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 the worm monster type. The worm was introduced during um, during the Arc Fight era. Okay, panahon ng Pendulum Summon. But it was introduced alongside the Pendulum Summon as a new type. So everybody caught on kasi because the first arch type that was all worm was Yang Xing. Ako gumamit ako ng Yang Xing. Ay, alam ko. Alam ko yung uh, ability niya. So, yeah. Alright. This history was history was made in this episode because for the first time a character from a Yu-Gi-Oh! series used worms in her deck. Alright. Akala ko, machine or machine or dragon eh. Yung pala, worm. Worm, ang gula ko. Ha? Worm? <laughs> But first time to ah. So, yun nga. And the the maximum monster that she used, it looked a lot like uh, like a mutated Infinitrack. Now, Infinitrack is an, is an archetype of machine monsters naman. Puro construction equipment na Puro construction and exploration equipment naman siya. Yun ang tema ng archetype na yun. And this Maximum Monster reminded me of of that archetype, Infinitrack. Kasi, kasi kuwang-kuwa niya yung size, yung... Uh, yeah, it looks scary looking because of those... because of all those blades, those gears. Ah, matatakot ka talaga eh. Matatakot ka talaga eh. You, 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 you'll, be, you'll be too scared to... You'll be too scared to even watch it. Not to even to even watch it work, right? So you pace, you flow, and I think the duel was too fast. You heard me, Mahal Lifestyle. You heard me, Twitch. The duel was a little bit too fast. Okay. Um. Well, notwithstanding the fact that mer meron palang meron palang maximum monster ang kalaban, whereas. Everybody knows that the that the the, the maximum summon I think has been banned. Uh, has been uh, has been the maximum summon protocol was has been deleted from from the source code of Rush Duel. So, kung may card ka man na ganun, hindi na pwedeng gamitin. Bawal na. Technically bawal na yung ganun. Yeah, I I thought the the duel was a little bit too fast. All right? Parang ano eh Um, they could have let Yuga do more 
Kumbaga, sana lumabang pa sa nang, sana, uh, nag-insert sila ng lines doon for Yuga, for Yuga's voice actor to, to play. Kung yan eh, bigyan siya ng konting, uh, konting, uh, konting panlaban sa Maximum Monster. But, maybe they wanted to prove a point that Maximum Monsters are, are too dangerous to be played. Well, point taken. Again. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 32. What the Now, uh, the final scene uh, is probably one of the reasons why I, why I still gave it the one thumb up. Dapat yung ano lang eh, lower rating lang. But, I thought, magandang twist to. Magandang twist to nangyari kila Yuga. Right? And now, Mimi is the president of Goha. At hindi niya alam na meron, meron palang meron palang nangyayari ganitong school job sa mga sa mga barkada ng anak niya. Okay? Well, the, the group of the group of kids her son considers as as close friends. Um, senpais. Mentors. Lalo na si Luke eh. Um, her son looks up to Luke. So, naging concerned siya bigla, pero hindi niya, hindi siya nagpahanata kasi eh, uh, hindi naman siya talaga yung tunay na presidente ng Goha kasi eh, yung palang, yung palang mask na yon, it's also a drone. Alright? It's a wearable drone. So, pumayag siya na, na inatake na pala sa puso yung supposedly na president ng Goha. Hindi naman pala yun ang tunay na president eh. Stand-in lang. Remember the time when she was uh, when she was about to storm the office of the president? Yung naabutan niyang parang inatake sa puso. Nag-collapse. Yung pala, na-dedo na pala talaga. Na-deads. Na-deads na. So, the drone suddenly went on automatic. In-offer siya na Would you like to be the president of Goha now? So she did not hesitate. Pero, yun nga, nalaman niya na tinasro bigla sila Yuga sa 6th Elementary. So, hindi siya nagpahalata. Okay, alam, no, ngayon, ngayon pa lang niya nalaman. What the hell? <clears throat> so, this is probably the most Uh, the most outrageous twist in the entire storyline of Sevens. Alright? Unless they, unless they top this one off. Right? This was this is what actually saved this episode from getting a lower rating. Yung, yung twist na to. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode 32. On the map. Right? Looks like the oppression will start. Right? Looks like the oppression will now commence on Yuga and Company. Let's watch the next episode, right? King's Raid Episode 16. That's a small... Uh, shall we say it's a small detour for them and they met this mercenary girl where... Uh, And they solve a case by, well, there's been a missing persons incident for a month and they finally found out a spider demon is behind it. Well, Castle kills it in one fell swoop, one fell swoop, all the villagers were rescued. All the missing villagers were rescued, even the, uh, even, uh, the mercenary's little friend. Lahat sila, karamihan kasi sa nakatira sa village niyon, Dark Elf. Predominantly dark elf ang inhabit ang in, mga inhabitants. So yeah, we can call it a little side trip for them. And I think they found an ally in uh, what's her name, Reina, the mercenary girl. Overall, yeah, it's a pretty decent episode. It's a pretty decent episode. Couldn't find any fault in the pace, the uh, the flow even the plot okay castle and the others are well they're considered adventurers now and this is what they do this is what they do 
They're, they're on route na kasi to the snow mountain to unseal uh, to to what's it called this to unlock the final seal to the holy sword pero may ano ako eh may I, I think I already yeah I already have a conspiracy theory on that but I forgot if there was I forgotten it so I'm going to state it again later so it's a pretty decent episode So, King's Raid episode 16. Right. For me, this is a minor adventure for them. Right. Although they've uh, they've gained an ally, pero hindi naman sumama sa kanila. Okay. And uh, this is more of the uh, what you call this man versus nature incident. But it is, but it is a spider demon. It's still a demon, so it still needs to be taken out. It still needs to be killed. And I totally get that. Yeah, they were save, they were able to save a lot of villagers uh, in this uh, in this episode. But um, I don't know. It's, it was it's, the ending was too good to be true. You get what I'm saying, mga ka You get what I'm saying, Twitch? You get what I'm saying? The ending is... Uh, I, I believe... I I think it was too too good to be true. Alright? Kasi, remember, Reyna is a mercenary. Alright? There is a fine line between mercenary and assassin. Now, Roy is an assassin. Pero, uh, he was... I think he went under the tutelage of the of the of the Grand Wizard that uh, that that formed this team. I forgot his name. name. In, the, in the Grand Tower, okay, he got this education from the Grand Tower, so he's the uh, he's the more reliable type of assassin, All right? But yeah, now for my conspiracy theory. My first conspiracy theory was um, Castle is the living embodiment of the Holy Sword. Right? We I think that's already established. Right? At least in this episode. I just came up with another conspiracy theory. Okay? The Holy Sword <laughs> doesn't exist anymore. Alright? And those seals But we shouldn't erase the fact that the three seals are there for something. Merong merong itinatagong tatlong seal na yan. But but, <clears throat> but but my theory is the the holy sword no longer exists. It it's no more. I don't know where. I am and I am not sure that if the that if the unlock the third seal they will get they will get the the physical holy sword itself i don't know i just don't know so again king's raid episode 16 one thumb up one thumb up only but the um i think the next no, the next episode has been t-shirt and it's probably a better one than this right it's probably a better one than this so We'll just have to watch it, okay? Let's let's just watch the next episode. Yasahime, episode 15. This is no recap episode, all right? <clears throat> It is probably the the complete. Requel to the entire show, as told by Wow. Okay. It is now making me think of what uh, what Riku's motives are. Siya pala ang pangunahing saksi, the principal witness to everything that has happened to the three girls before they were 
before their current adventures, obviously. Right? <clears throat> Seshumaru encased both Inuyasha and Kagome with the Black Pearl. Yung Black Pearl na yon, one of its materials was um, the, ru the rouge used by um, Inuyasha's mother, which is now in Moroa's hands. Yung rouge na ginagamit ni Moroa para maging si Ben Inuyasha, yun. Yun yun. That same rouge. That same rouge was used to make that Black Pearl. So, in in case, in in case sila ni siya sumaro doon, yung mga kasawa. And well, Kirin Maru doesn't know uh, doesn't know Sashumaru's ulterior motives from the very start. Kaya pala, nakipagsanib pwersa si Sashumaru sa kapatid, sa kapatid niyang tunay, si Kirin Maru. To, well, to to someone, to somewhat save uh, Inuyasha and Kagome. Right? Kasi ang naging reason ni Jake nun yung yung pang yung number one sip sip sa kanya yung ano yung yung mani yung mani na parang putigi yung mani na yung yung mani na permit yung putigi na yun yung yung medyo sang getsuha ni uh, ni Inuyasha will come in handy in the future yun ang naging yun ang rasyonali niya that was his reason eh magri na si Shumaru pero there was a prophecy pala when the Shikon Jewel was completely destroyed. Meron darating na tatlong uh, may darating pang tatlong mas batang half demon na papatay sa kanya, kay Kirin Maru. And that prophecy has come to pass na in the form of Moroha, Towa, and Setsuna. So yun ang kinikwento ngayon ni Rigo sa episode na to. Overall, okay, overall, it was a really good episode, okay? Although, well, backstories depend on who's telling it. Now, in the case of, <clears throat> I, I, I really hate to make comparisons, okay, but it's totally necessary in this case. In the case of, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Reiner from Attack on Titan, he did it for two consecutive episodes. He did it for two consecutive episodes. Okay? Whereas in... In the case of... Si... Is that what Si Rico. He did it in only one. He did it in only one episode. And... <clears throat> hindi siya... <clears throat> by the sound of his voice, he didn't feel... He was apathetic about it. He was the sole witness to the entire bash story. Okay, so that makes him credible. Okay? He saw everything. Kung paano tinrap ni Sesumaro yung kanyang half brother si Inuyasha at yung asawa niya si Kagome. Now, ito pa lang si ang nanay pala ng Kambal ay si Rin. All right? Yung yung parati bubuntot ni Sesumaro na babae, yung kumaga one and only na disciple niya, inanakan niya pala yun. Yun ang nanay ng kambal. Alright? So, we now know. Yung pala ang nanay nila to at Setsu na, si Rin. Which he met, I think, during uh, season 3, I think season 3. So, she has been a regular fixture in the Inuyasha storyline ever since. Kaya pala. So, they have been planning to make her the uh, the mother of Towa and Setsuna. Kung baga, inanakan pala siya ni Sesumaru. Nagtataka mo ka? Nagtataka ko. Sino kaya inanakan ni Etnis? Sino kaya napakasawa ni Sesumaru? He was... That self-centered son of a bitch doesn't even know what love is. Right? That self-centered son of a bitch doesn't know what love is. So, yung pala si Rin. Si Rin pala. Lumayo pa ako. <laughs> Nag-isip pa ako. So, yeah. Again, overall, it's a really good episode. 
<clears throat> talagang uh, I really had my feel of origins from this episode. Talagang napusog ako. Now, uh, and based on what has been teasered, bukong this will have a direct effect on what is going to happen in the next few episodes. Alright? <clears throat> this has a great effect. So, kung meron mang uh, plot na mangyayari in the next in the next several episodes all we need to do is go back to this one episode 15 nearly all of the nearly all of the succeeding ones will be will be very crucial coming into the finale so yeah i can say this is a very crucial episode episode 15 so yashahime episode 15 two thumbs up right Wow. Hindi ko akalain na aanakan pala ni si Shumaru si Rin. Naghangat din pala siya ng tagapagmana. Alright? And, um, well, in Inuyasha's case, alam mo, natin, alam mo naman natin na tamakan niya si Kagumi. Hindi nga lang niya ma-express. Alright? Hindi lang niya ma-express ma ng tama. You know, I love when Kagumi says, Sit! <laughs> Boog! <laughs> bigla na lang, bigla na lang paplanta sa lupa mo kanino yung asya. I always get, I always get a, I always get a, I always get a lap out of that. Out of that, out of moments like that. Talagang, uh, it's another reason why I gave it the two thumbs up. Kasi, fan service moment eh. Inuyasha, Kagumi, uh, Sesu Maru, even Kirin Maru, okay? They've uh, they made their appearances in this uh, in this episode. So fan service moment. So again, Yashahime episode 15. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up Twitch. Tinisyo na yung susunod na episode. Mukhang... <clears throat> hmm. Mukhang may issue pa na tinatago si Moro eh. So, we gotta watch out for that. Let's watch out for that. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 6. There's a reason why I, um, why I chose this screen effect, or this video effect. Okay, I'm gonna explain. I don't know why <clears throat> this particular episode has been maligned on Twitter over the past week. I've seen it and I'm reviewing it now. Eren finally shows himself. Then also, yung kapatid ng Lord na kinain niya, yung pala ang totoong Warhammer Titan, babae. That was the real Warhammer Titan, yung naglaban sila. And whoa, it almost got him beat. If it weren't for Mikasa's Mika, Mika's assistance, baka, baka pinatay na siya nun. Then of course, uh, they regroup to to look for a weakness to this Titan. Kasi first time nila maka, first time nila nakalaban ito. Okay? In the three previous seasons hindi nagpakita ito. Only now. Only now. Only now will only now that they, uh, that they have faced the Warhammer Titan. So, okay. Si Mika sa muna ang nag, ano, <clears throat> ang humarap sa Warhammer. So, while Eren is studying its movements. Yeah. Hmm. Parang, napansin niya, parang hindi pi, parang hindi pulido galaw nito, ah. Parang wala sa loob ang controller nito, ah. So, hinahanap niya, tika. Baka, baka naka-remote control to. Ayun, nahanap niya. <clears throat> so, biglang transfer show din to the Attack Titan. Tinukot niyang ganun yung remote. O, yun. Pinuto niya. Tapos. Tapos. Talo Warhammer Titan at kakainin na niya yung, yung controller habang nasa loob. Then, the jaw, the jaw Titan comes, comes in, tries to, uh, tries to eat him. Then, Levi comes along. Pak! 
pinutol yung baka ng jaw titan dito, hindi na siya nakakagat. So, <clears throat> the new sitting dog right now is the jaw titan. <laughs> so, ito na. Na, gano na. Nagpuntahan na yung mga ibang ibang member na survey core. I, uh, no, I believe that's it's not just the survey core. Eh. The survey core is now they're now handling the titans. Yung mga iba naman, uh, nagplanta ng mga bomba. I think that was, yeah, that was probably the military police. That was probably the, either the military police or the engineering corps. Siguro nag, uh, joint forces, siguro joint efforts sila doon. Nagplanta ng bomba, nagplanta ng ilaw. Oh. Kumaga, taken na itong zone na ito. Uh, pinoma na ito, taken na, zone na ito, ilaw. It was a well-planned attack. And the Marlians say that, that they are the devils. Well, <laughs> speak for yourselves. Sino ba nagsimula ng laban na to? Di ba kayo? Who is the who is the side that are constantly sending titans to the other? The Marlians. Right? The Marlians. Well, tip for that, folks. Huwag kayong magreklamo. <laughs> Marley should not complain at this moment because... It's, well, Paradis is doing it to them now. Through Eren. Overall, it is a fucking good episode. Those people who have, um, uh, who have bad tweets against this episode is a fucking normie. Okay? You're fucking normies, all of you. Lahat kayo. Mga tanga. Mga ingot pagdating sa anime. And they're, and they're blaming Studio Mappa for it? Hello? They're probably Studio of the Year for 2021. For 2020 pala. For God of High School, Jujutsu Kaisen, and this. You're blaming Studio Mappa for it? Maybe you can handle CGI as, as well as other anime fans. Stop watching Attack on Titan for God's sakes. You're, you're, just, you're just taking up the social media space. Alright? You are the ones who should be banned, not Trump. I tell you, anyone who has a bad word about this about this particular episode is a fucking normie. Oh, I'd love to hear. Oh, I'd love to see your comments in the description. I'd love to see your comments right now when this when this video comes out. I'd love to see your comments right now in the chat. If you disagree with me, come on, let's fight. Let's fight! I got all night to do it. I got all fucking night to do it. I am no Attack on Titan fan. But... The way... Uh, this anime made up... After I gave it the... After I gave it the one thumb down in episode 3... Alright. I don't consider myself a fan yet, but... <clears throat> With regards to episode 6, it was nicely done. Plot, pace, flow. Even if you're just new to Attack on Titan, you would completely understand why this is going on in episode 6. Right? You would completely understand. To all those who have been tweeting bad remarks about this about this anime that uh that is a really bad episode fuck you all go fuck yourselves episode 3 was the worst episode not this right episode 3 suck absolutely not this right mapas well for me Mapa has completely moved forward after episode 3. Okay? The storyline has... Well, business has picked up since episode 5. Episode 6 is probably... Well, not exactly. I don't think... I don't want to believe it's the climax because... Uh, we're just 6 episodes... We're just 6 episodes down. There's more to come. I believe. Alright? So... Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 6 Two thumbs up And a big toe 
and a big go fuck yourself to all those who um to all those who posted bad tweets about this episode go fuck yourselves now <clears throat> a little side note every time I hear the OP of final season it creeps me out now I know why because well episode 3 yeah it sucked but 4, 5 and now 6 there's probably more there's probably a better episode than this episode 6 so the, the good episodes are now trickling in I will probably make this bold, predi bold prediction right now for Attack on Titan. It will probably be its best season. Mappa wants Attack on Titan to, to go out with a bang. And well, they're, they're sending the message loud and clear through episodes 5 and 6. And, up, and if up to now you still can't see that, don't watch anime anymore. Anime doesn't deserve you. Anime doesn't fucking deserve you, you normies. So again, Attack on Titan Final Season, Episode 6. Two thumbs up. So, well, it has been... Uh, it has been teasered, the next episode. Can't wait to review it. I can't wait to watch it. Now, again, to all those... To all those bad tweets and to all those who posted those bad tweets... Don't watch Attack on Titan anymore. You don't know what a good fucking anime is. X Arm Episode Two. Well, uh, seems that Akira is as uh, to all this. Now feels responsible for everything that has happened in the past 10 years. He helps out in a case wherein the mass suicide bombings are happening, and, and the, the the anti X arm squad has has got to put a stop to this. So he he volunteers to join, to finally join the the anti X arm squad, and well, in the end they, they were able to. They were able to stop it, okay? but they weren't able to catch the X arm, the X arm responsible. So, eto na naman tayo, right? Eto na naman tayo. Well, may meron silang may nahuli, may nahuli nga sila, pero that was in episode one pa. So, right? Just the mere, the mere thought of it just gives me a headache, okay? You didn't catch the mastermind, but you were able to solve the case. Let's just have to let's just have a victory. But overall, overall, it's a um, uh, it's a somewhat ordinary episode, all right? It's a somewhat ordinary episode because well, yeah, the pace, the pace, flow, everything, but pace, flow. Uh, tama lang okay? sakto lang but yung plot medyo uh, maybe they need maybe they need to work on the uh, on the per episode plot alright the mastermind of this of this whole scheme didn't get caught okay wala eh. they did shot they did shoot him okay na sniper nga siya but they weren't able to find his body. So, and well, like it said, it's an it's an ordinary, like a seemingly ordinary episode. Because uh, you've seen these, make cliches na ane, make cliches na na nangyari. And I felt like I've, I've seen this before. Okay? I've seen this before. So, X Arm Episode Two. Well, it's it's good to know that uh, uh, 
everybody's on the same page. They now know how serious the threat is. But the animators could have done more. The animators could have done more, right? Like, uh, uh, well, they were under time pressure. But they could have um, shortened it. They only had 20 hours. They could have shortened it to just 16 or 12. Now, that would be more exciting. Instead of 20 hours, parang... May pahinga pa eh. May pahinga pa mga lead characters eh. I wouldn't call that time pressure kasi 20 hours. Pero, if they made, if they whittled it down to 16 or even 12, okay, that would, that would quicken the pace. That would uh, justify the plot. That would actually justify the plot. Uh, but that's, I've seen episodes like this before. But don't get me wrong, mga lifestyle. Don't get me wrong, Twitch. Animes like X Arm are well, they aren't a dime a dozen these days. The cyberpunk genre is, is slowly getting ushered in this year, and X Arm is a part of that. So. Yeah, but for for this particular episode, I could not give it. I could not uh, give justification enough for a higher rating. So that's my rating. So again, X Arm episode two. Maybe in the next episode they will. Uh, maybe in the next episode we'll get a better. Uh, maybe we could we could give a better rating. For it, all right. We'll, we'll just have to watch the next episode. True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode two. Well, it has been, it has been, uh, it has been decided by the judges. Ma wins. <laughs> By the skin of his teeth, actually. And what? The cooking, the cooking on the road, as, as evil as it is, mm, tries to sink, tries to, tries to give everybody their watery graves by sinking the entire, that, that big a ship. Nakore ng, nakore ng iba, nakore ng mga good guys yung document that ginano ni Lien. Para hindi makon ng iba, pero nakore pa nila but they were able to see, but they were able to reacquire it and well <clears throat> the bad guys get away except for Suwan namatay siya rito he, kung, talagang he uh, he killed himself here uh, sa sobrang kahihiyan alright and well all I can say is the war has just begun but actually the quest for the seven, the seven, the seven legendary cooking tools has begun. Just like in the original series. <laughs> Overall, uh, yeah, it's a really good episode. All right, throwback mode na naman ako. <laughs> throwback mode na naman ako Twitch. Cause pop, it's exactly what happened in the original series. Pero, um. More stripped down yung pagkaka present nila ngayon. But that's okay. That's okay. That's totally okay. The pace, the flow, and of course the plot, yep. They were all followed to the letter. So, talagang. <clears throat> if you were. If you're a fan of the original series, you, you, would, you would completely. You will completely go on throwback mode when you see uh, when you see the first two episodes of, you know, of this one. Although it's although it's new, although it's now airing, all right. You will uh, you will be you will be, you will get those throw get those uh, those throwback feels when it comes to when it comes to this one. Pero ang kaiba nga lang, the original series ran for 54 episodes. Eto dalawang season na. Right, so medyo hindi kinong dense in one uh, in one run. It had to take two runs. Okay. Yeah, 
overall, yeah, it's a really good episode. And, well, business is about to pick up as indicated in the final scene. Right? So, True Cooking Master Boy Season, ah, uh, Season, Second Season Episode 2. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Whew. I wonder, well, I, I said I wonder, pero nakita naman, nakita naman natin lang sa, twist, sa teaser eh. They're going after, um, uh, I think, the sec, only the second uh, legendary cooking cooking tool that was uh, that was created. This is actually the second. Pero, um, yeah, they're going after the second. Kasi yung, yung magic cleaver, nakimaw na yun eh. Nakimaw na. Pinreset na sa kanya nung, tin, nung naglaban sila ni Lien. Nung naglaban sila ni Lien sa season 1 and I think episode... I think episode 4 and then episode between the time between episodes 15 and 20 of the original series the, the time pasta the time between 15 and episodes 15 and 20 15 to 20 of the original series pero dito that was during season 1 uh yun, yun. basta yun basta yun, <laughs> basta yun. so in award in award na kay Mao yun so he has the first one they're now going for the second na. So again, True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode two. Two thumbs up. A uh, tofu centric two thumbs up. <laughs> kasi nga, kasi nga tofu battle eh. Grand tofu battle. The tofu, the tofu, tofu cooking battle of the ages. Nangyari. Because what? You opened season 2 with the original series' most iconic episode. Okay? So, for the second season naman, you conclude it. And, probably start uh, start a series of mini arcs that will that will show how they got the other cooking, the other legendary cooking tools. Right? I'm so excited for that. So, uh, Next episode, yun. Ang, yun ang pag-uusapan natin. Dahil yun nga ang gagawin nila, Mau. Yun nga ang gagawin nila. Dun. The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment, Episode 2. A lot of light-hearted, light, light-hearted moments because, well, like what happened in Episode 1, Ban, he, he finds Beliotas at last, so, tsaka sila, eh wala pa nang alam na way to si Ban para makabalik, so he too is stuck, so he eventually, um, uh, uh, get themselves used to the system known as Purgatory, alright, he hunt, he hunt some down for food and clothing, and of course, weapons, pero ang ginawang sword dun si, Meliodas. Alam, mahabang ganun. Out of, uh, out of an animal's bone. Talagang kinarp niya ito to a sword. And they meet this, um, this oversized version of Hawk known as Wild. Who actually turns out to be his, uh, his big brother. So, Hawk's real name pala is Mild. 8 billion years ago, ginukot pala siya ng Demon King para ibigay kay Meliodas. Now, 8 billion years is just... 8 billion years in Purgatory is actually 16, 16 years in the human world. So, tama. So, uh, according to Meliodas, tama naman. Tama yung age. Gano nga yung age ngayon ni Hawk. Kaya... Nakala ni, ni Juan, super laki katulad niya. Nope. <laughs> nope. Hawk is nowhere near his size. Okay, so, okay. Kimento, kimento nila, nila, ban, nila Milonas at Ban, yung uh, kalagayan ni Hawk, ito kay Wild. So, in 
is that, well, after that, they became a friend and an ally. So, they set out to, uh, they set out to, they, they made a, they, no, they uh, proverbially made a beeline to the Demon King. Kasi, alam pa na ni Wild kung saan ang tatago Demon King sa Purgatory. That was the final episode, so they set out to the church. And, uh, side trip, Ludusil and, Ludusil and Company just could not beat Zeltris. Okay? Kahit kasama nila sila, Escanor and Murray, nahihirapan sila. So, overall, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. Because, well, we're slowly getting the, uh, what you call this? We're slowly getting the, uh, the major plot of this of this final arc, this final season. The pace, niya, yeah, okay. The plot, yeah, superb. Outrageously superb, okay. I'll tell you the truth. And the flow, yeah, okay lah. But the, the only side trip we, the only side story we saw here was, uh, uh, yeah, the other sibling company not uh, having a hard time against Zeltris. Overall, it's a, uh, it's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. <clears throat> so, the seventh deadly sins, Dragon's Judgment, episode two. Matama. Matama. Bakit? Say, well, there are some things that, uh, well, for a, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, brand this as a as a setup episode. Parang hindi ba ito eh? Parang hindi. We won't be seeing the good stuff until siguro mga two to three episodes later, right? Un or unless. The animators have something up their sleeve to, to surprise us, to surprise us viewers and fans, right? Hope they got something up their sleeve. So, uh, I, yeah, don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong, Twitch. Don't get me wrong, Mahaka Lifestyle. It is a, it's a really good episode, but it's not enough to give it a higher rating. Rating higher than what the So, on the line, I couldn't even call this a setup episode. Alright? Parang may ano siya. It's got a, uh, it's got a story on its own. Pero it's not that strong enough. Pero nandating sa akin ang episode na to. Alright? So, again, the Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 2. But um, based on what the on, on what uh, title was teaser, we're probably headed in that same direction, All right? But uh, let's call this. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I don't want to spoil it for you. Ah, uh, lifestyle. We'll just have to wait for the next episode, right? Because the Seven Deadly Sins has a weird way of teasering episodes, of teasering future episodes. Because well, they only make they only make uh, they only make those inserts just to just to humorize whatever whatever episode they have, whatever uh, the previous episode. Had. So, yeah. All we have now is the title. Well, that makes us that is now preparing us. To watch the next episode. Lock Horizon third season episode two. Mm. <clears throat> no, um, there were there were somewhat tense moments in this episode. All right, 
like uh, Allies of Shiro, uh, slowly resenting the uh, finds earning the title of Duke of, Duke of Akiba. And the uh, princess na ibigan nila, she's getting married off to the uh, so this to, to the heir to the throne of Westland, of Westland, Westland. All right, that's dance. And of course, <clears throat> and of course, uh, Heinz declaring to the round table that. Honestly, it's now seceding from the conference. Sisiwal, na sila sa round table. Then they're going to call for an Akiba government. So, final scene. Pinatawag ni Shiro si Ayns. Nagawa one on one, nagawa one on one meeting sila. Overall, it's yeah, it's. Uh, pretty decent episode okay. I really don't want I'm not really uh, what you call this uh, inclined to, uh, to what you call this uh, episodes that are centered around politics right I am, I am I am doing my best right now to break this episode pace flow yeah okay. understandable and right I'm seeing uh, probably this will be um, this will be uh, the norm in the next few episodes of of season three all right so I'll just have to I'll just have to do the adjusting myself I'll just have to adjust to the anime all right it's a pretty decent episode, and but they could have, uh, but uh, what you call this? Studio Dean could have, uh, could have done more, like more, more. Made the moments, made the moments a little bit denser, more, uh, what you call this? more intense, especially during that round table meeting. Right. Yung bodyguard nga ni Ainsi mo kung susugurin niya ni. Yung isang member ng round table eh. Sa sinab... Sa pinatutsada nun eh. Alright? That was tense, okay? That was intense. That was a... That, obviously, that was an intense... That was an intense moment. So... Log Rise on 3rd Season Episode 2. Quantum Map. Quantum Map. Well, kasi... It's an episode solely that is uh, revolving around the politics of of the uh, of the anime's backdrop ng Log Horizon. <clears throat> okay? Kasi, ano eh, hindi hindi na nababahiran ng politika ang pinaghirapan ng pinaghirapan na ibuo ng roundtable conference. So, Alright. And it's, uh, because of that, it, because of that, it's a good episode. Okay. You gotta, uh, even though, even though I hate politics, okay, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. But the way you, but if you see this episode, but when, no matter how, no matter how I see this episode, it's talagang, talagang it's politics. It's centered around politics and tema, story. And yeah, it's nicely done. It's nicely done. It's not yet the um, it's not yet the under the table type of con of politics, in, right? Right now, um, uh, see the final scene. Shiro is now using a back channel. One month sila ni Ice. So ano kung gusto mo magyari? Parang ganon eh. Ano ganon na magyari dito? And well, um. It's also a good setup for the next episode. Right? It's also a good setup for the next episode. So again, Log Horizon third season episode two. Quantum. Quantum. 
So, yeah. I think this, um, the entire season 3 is based on uh, the most crucial part of the manga. Kasi, yeah, gang sa manga ang Lord Horizon. Uh, probably, the next episode we'll probably see, we will, we will probably see how the entire round table will fall apart. Okay. Yun lang ang, yun lang ang, uh, it's the way, I, it's the way I see the teaser. Yun ang pagkaka-interpret ko. This is my personal interpretation of the teaser. So, well, let's just watch it. Let's just watch it. Beastars second season episode two. Wow. Uh, kaya pala parang walang uh, walang uh, walang ganong security sa Cheriton Academy yung yung school ni uh, ni Legacy. Isa lang siya. A an insanely huge rattlesnake named Hexai. Uh, and I don't know what I don't know what gender it is, alright? But it took a liking to Legacy. Creepy, ha, no? A creepy. But kaya pala siya um approach kay kaya pala niya inapos to si Legacy kasi kay bigan ni Tem yung napatay na alpaka no season one, which what uh, Tem's murder actually triggered season one, alright? Now. Uh, hindi niya mahanapan ng, ng, ng magandang ebidensya kung sino yung pumatay ni Tem. So, he asked Legacy's help and actually convinced him to well, to become a detective just for the sake of his friend. Siya mismo mag-investiga kung ano nangyari at kung sino ang pumatay. At kung sino ang kumain pala. Kumain, ha? hindi lang pinatay, kumain kay Tim. Because, well, in the Beastars universe, herbivores and carnivores cannot eat each other. Alright? And then, carnivores cannot eat herbivores. Alright? Yun ang, kumbaga, eh, kumbaga, batas. Yun ang batas dito. So, I'm very, so, but, pero, very, I'm very sure, a carnivore did this. So, uh, Hex, I asked Legacy to to do some investigating. So, medyo, yeah, medyo. Uh, Kung baga, parang inobligahan niya si Legacy na gawin ito. But, uh, yeah, Legacy, Legacy volunteered. And in the process, he catches the gym where thief. Yung, yung kangaroo. But surprisingly, he subdues, he subdues that kangaroo. What do you expect? He's a wolf. <laughs> He's a wolf. Talo wolf sa kangaroo. Kahit gano'n pang, kahit gano'n pang kalakas ang siba nun. Even in nature. So, but, pero, here is the twist of this, of this entire episode. Louis, okay, Louis is now a crime boss. Siya na pala ang head ngayon ng Leo Group. Na, well, it's, it's actually, it's actually uh, parang, parang mafia siya. Uh, wherein all the members are lions. Siya lang ang, siya lang ang herbivore na, uh, na member. At siya pa ang boss nito. Sabi ko, ha? Huh? Ano ba to? Ano nangyari to kay Louie? Why did he... Why did he fall from grace like this? All right, why? Pero he didn't he did a um, somewhat of an explainer in the final scene, which I am not going to tell you, which I am telling you to watch it. All right? Overall, overall, it's one hell of an episode. Okay? It's one hell of an episode. And I'm slowly seeing that um now nah, anyway I'm out to make sale. Pace, flow, the plot, all good. 
Alright? It's all good. And, well, Legacy, in one scene here, Legacy got, uh, got, got the door shut on his face. Dahil, hindi cooperative yung mga alpaca. And, well, of course, he questions this, he questions this kangaroo one evening, baka sakali, kasi baka, kasi gabi-gabi nag, ano siya, gabi-gabi na nag, gabi-gabi nag, uh, tumatapos siya doon sa, kumbaga parang quadrangle nila, ng main campus. So, baka, baka nga, baka nga lang eh, baka nga, may, may, may alam ito, sa nangyari. But, he eventually, finds out that, that's the gym where they, he catches him. <laughs> he catches him. Ganun, ganun lang. Right? And of course, the high, the high, probably the highlight of this episode was Louis turning heel and to become a crime boss of a become the boss of a crime group that is all carnivore. Isa lang ang herbivore dito. Isa lang yung plant eater dito. I still don't, uh, I still don't get it why, why Louis has to do this, right? So, but, so, Star second season episode two. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. I say, well, you know, Legacy has faced a crossroads here. And so was Louis. Well, he's, he's, he's actually he's actually made his choice on that crossroads. Pero si Legacy, ano pa lang eh? Medyo namimili na siya eh. Namimili na siya. So he's, he started treading, treading down the path of being a detective. Kung baga, private investigator. Kung baga, ito yung, baka ito na yung maging sideline niya for while he's still in school. And, I got a conspiracy theory for you guys. Legacy and Louie will cross paths. Mala, ano yan eh? Mala, uh, Mala Holmes versus Moriarty. Remember Moriarty the Patriot? Parang ganun yan dito. Pero, mas malalim. Mas malalim ang dahilan. Mas malalim yung pinag so again, B-Star second season, episode 2. Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. So, well, what's the next episode, teaser? I don't think so. So we'll just have to, just have to wait for the next episode. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it. 